Hi everyone. I am Priyanka Jain. I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. And here is a very big news for all of you. Soon we are starting new batch courses. Okay. One of my batch course is starting for the revision of inorganic chemistry. If you are preparing for CSINET, you will know that there is an exam on 29th of January. Okay. So there are two months left. So we have decided to launch a new batch course full revision course of the inorganic chemistry here we will see full revision with the pyqs okay previous year questions we will solve the questions we will see quick revision all the things you will see here okay this batch course is starting from 8th of december okay and the next batch course that we are starting is starting from 2nd of december and this is for the chemistry of coordination compounds chemistry of transition metals okay so here we will discuss about the coordination chemistry all the subject we will discuss from the beginning okay so you will see all the type of questions from the peer previous year and from the good books also okay. hi everyone welcome in chemistry classes i am priyanka jain and you are watching the videos of test series test series questions for the january 2022's exams question paper okay so here we have taken some questions from previous year question papers and these questions are basically on the transition metal complexes coordination chemistry about the reaction mechanism okay so see here the first question is from december 2019's question paper this question is the correct statement about base hydrolysis of co pyridine whole 4 cl2 plus complex is okay we have given four different statement the rate expression is rate is equal to k complex concentration and oh minus concentration right then we have given reaction does not depends on hydroxide ion concentration third we have given reaction proceeds through sn1 cb mechanism and fourth we have given intermediate involved in the reaction is co pyridine whole 4 cl2 oh okay so see here for this you should have a little bit knowledge about the mechanism of the coordination compounds okay reaction mechanism of the coordination compounds we have given this compound co is the central atom two chlorines are attached and four pyridine groups are attached here okay these are the four pyridine groups that are attached Okay, here will be nitrogen. These are the pyridine rings, right? In this manner. Okay, so this is the complex that we have given. Now we have to carry out the its hydrolysis, okay, by the OH minus. So what will happen? This OH minus will replace this chlorine, okay? So the whole thing is that there is a substitution reaction. Now substitution here may be of three types. One is SN1 CB mechanism, another may be SN1 or third one may be SN2, okay? We are considering one by one which is happening here, okay? So if you are considering the SN1 CB mechanism, in this case, what is happening? This OH minus will abstract the most acidic hydrogen. Okay. So here you can see these four pyridine rings are present. So there is no acidic hydrogen present in this complex. Okay. So this complex has no acidic hydrogen which can be abstracted by the space right so the reaction cannot proceed by sn1 cb mechanism so this is not possible okay so this third statement the reaction proceeds through sn1 cb mechanism is false statement okay now see if you are considering the sn2 mechanism in sn2 SN mechanism what is it it is associative mechanism it means firstly what will happen this oh minus will attack at this complex and it will form an intermediate okay intermediate will be like this here oh will get attack okay and then this cl will get replaced okay for this process to happen there should be a steric crowding okay if the reaction proceeds by this mechanism then there will be a overcrowding you can see such a large groups bulky groups are present here okay and these are six coordinated and if you are making a seventh coordination then it will be very bulky okay there will be steric hindrance so this cannot happen in this particular case okay so the sn2 mechanism is also not possible here right so we cannot write the rate expression is kco pyridine whole twice oh minus okay if sn2 is not possible then this is false right third thing 
you have given the intermediate involved in this reaction is CO pyridine whole 4 Cl2OH. It means this intermediate that I have written here. Okay, this is the intermediate. So I have already told you that if this intermediate is formed, there will be a steric hindrance. So this cannot be formed here. Okay, so this statement is also wrong. So the reaction will proceed by the simple dissociative mechanism or by the SN1 mechanism. Okay, dissociative mechanism. It means in the first step, what will happen? Cl minus will get loss. Okay, in first step, this will get dissociate, and in the next step, what will happen? This OH minus will attack here. Okay, so we are getting the substituted product. So the reaction does not depend upon the hydroxide ion concentration because in the first step, there is no involvement of OH minus ions. Okay, if you are writing here, this reaction will happen like this CO pyridine whole 4 Cl2 plus. This is our complex. In first step, what will happen? Cl minus will get loose. So we are getting CO pyridine whole 4 Cl plus 2. Okay. And in the second step, this will get attacked by OH minus. So what we are getting? We are getting CO pyridine whole 4 Cl OH plus charge okay now you can see this is the slow step so the rate of the reaction will depend only on the concentration of this complex ion concentration okay does not depends on the hydroxide ion concentration so this statement is the right statement option number two okay let's see the next question all right now see this question from june 2019's question paper what thing we are given we are given the question self exchange reaction self exchange electron transfer reaction is fastest in okay it means we have to find out in which of these four complexes the self exchange electron transfer reaction will be fastest okay we have given four different options okay so see here for this thing to find out actually this is an example of outer sphere reaction mechanism in outer sphere reaction mechanism what happens the transfer of electrons takes place directly okay from the outer sphere directly the electrons are being transferred there is no bridging ligand present here suppose if we are taking this runs 3 whole 6 plus 2 one complex will be this and another will be runs 3 whole 6 plus 3 okay so we will identify them by this star sign so now what happens this will change to the first complex will change to plus 3 state and the second complex will change to plus 2 state okay it means there is a direct electron transfer from one complex to another okay this is happening here so for such type of reaction to happen the factors that depends that on that the reaction depends are like this first thing is the nature of ligand the reaction will be fastest if we are taking a strong field ligand okay in the case of strong field ligand the reaction will be fastest okay so if you are seeing here you have given two different ligands one is nh3 and other one is h2o so h2o is a weak field ligand but nh3 is the strong field ligand so the third and fourth options will already cancel out okay in this case we have given h2o ligand so they cannot be possible second thing we should see the series it means in the case of 5d series the reaction will be more faster as compared to 4d series than 3d series okay so if you are checking here you will find that in option one we have given the element of the 4d series ru okay so in this case the reaction should be fastest okay so the option one should be the best answer for this now again see here we know if a transfer is taking place from t2g to t2g star this will be more faster as compared to a transition taking place to t2g to eg star then a transfer then the electron transfer from eg to eg star so now you can see here in the case of ru plus 2 and ru plus 3 if you are concerning the first statement the first option if you are concerning that here this will be a d6 case okay this is d6 complex and this is d5 and the complexes are low spin complexes okay these are low spin complexes so here 
the six electrons will be paired up in this manner okay and here also this will be paired up like this okay so when the electron transfer is taking place it will directly trace from here to here it means from t2g level to t2g level so this will be the first test okay so the our option number 1 is the right answer okay option number 1 is the right answer now you can concern the next option we have given co nh3 whole 6 it means co complex we have given one is co plus 2 and other one is co plus 3 okay in co plus 2 the number of electrons is d7 here the number of electron is d6 right okay so see here this co plus 2 will be high spin complex this is a high spin complex okay in this case the number of electrons will be like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 7 okay but co plus 3 complex with ammonia is a low spin complex it will be a low spin complex so here the electrons will be present in this manner right so there will be a transfer of electron from this level to this level okay so whenever this type of transfer is taking place this will require some time to take place okay so the reaction will be slower okay so in this case the reaction will be slower if you are seeing the next option you can also see the next option this is the option number a this is option number b now see the option number c that is given to us as cr plus 2 to cr plus 3 electron transfer is taking place from cr plus 2 to cr plus 3 here this is a d4 case and this is a d3 case okay so now here these are the these are the high spin complexes because h2o is a weak field ligand okay so number of electrons here will be 1 2 3 okay this is not and here okay and in this case the number of electrons will be 3 so the electron is being transferred from this level to this level okay so this reaction is again slower similarly you can see in the case of feh2o whole 6 feh2o whole 6 in this case also a transfer of electron is taking place from fe plus 2 to fe plus 3 right so in this case also there will be a change in the level you can see fe plus 2 is a d6 complex and this is a d5 complex so here the electrons will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay and here the electrons will be 1 2 3 4 5 okay so here the electron is transferring from here to here but here we have given h2o as the ligand so h2o is a weak field ligand so this reaction will also be slowest okay so the first option is our right answer okay are you nh3 whole 6 plus 2 to are you nh3 whole 6 plus 3 this will be our right answer okay so in this way you have to do the questions i think you will like this video okay meet you in the next video with some more questions keep watching thank you